This first film depicts the other side of Les Reed as musician, composer, arranger and conductor. In 1956, on his release from the armed forces, Les became a full-time musician playing jazz clubs and as pianist arranger for many bands of the period and as an artist. He performed on German TV in Beat Club alongside Ike and Tina Turner and the Beatles. His big break came in 1958. The John Barry Seven! The John Barry Seven achieved many hit records and appeared in numerous TV shows. They also provided the music for films such as Dr. No, the very first Bond film. He also played piano on all of the Adam Faith hits. And Adam was best man at Les and June's wedding at Caxton Hall in 1960. In 1964, Les signed to Decca, working with Tom Engelbert, PJ Proby and Billy Fury. Then came the Les Reed combo and his own orchestra. As conductor, he appeared on the international stage alongside Henry Mancini, John Barry and Quincy Jones. And then the combo recorded The Saint. Dr. Finley's casebook. Man of Action became the signature tune for Radio North Sea International for its duration on air. Spanish Armada was featured in every cinema on the Pearl and Dean adverts. Imogene became the much missed John Dunn's Radio 2 show signature tune for 11 years. Les also wrote Hotline for the David Jacobs TV show. Then he met Johnny Hamp, executive TV producer and creator of the international pop proms. Starts with a touch of Rachmaninoff from the musical director, Les Reed. During this series, Les conducted for many international stars, such as... Johnny Mathis. I'm as helpless as a kitten up a tree. Buddy Greco. With every sigh. I just become more mad about you. The wonderful Brooke Benton. But it's a rain. Night in Georgia. A rainy night in Georgia. And Caterina Valenti. <laughs> as well as the legendary Roy Orbison. He also conducted for David Bowie at London's Talk of the Town. And Les is also in demand as a performer himself. Les has scored many films, including... There have been over 200 Les Reed songs featured in films to date. His stage musicals include... Beautiful and Damn, written with Roger Cook, had a very successful run at the Lyric Theatre in London's West End. Another show, And Then I Wrote, written with Ben Nisbet, started life at the Mill in Sonning, starring Craig Douglas and Les. That woman. The Windsors now called That Woman, was written with Eddie Sego and was performed at the Opera House Buxton, produced by Johnny Hamp. The Las Vegas production of The Magic Touch ran at the Cambridge Theatre. From this production by Les and Jeff Stevens, the show boasted a single by Tom Jones. Les's classical works include The Niagara Suite, written for harmonica virtuoso Tommy Riley.
The beautiful Erin Symphony was inspired by Les's love of Ireland. And the Grand National Anthem was written for a film directed by Jonathan Hamm. In 1998, Les Reed was awarded the OBE for services to British music. He's received many prestigious awards worldwide and in 1996 was made Freeman of the City of London. Outside of his music, the great love of Les's life is his family, seen here with his grandsons Alex and Dominic in 1998. Man of Action aptly describes the man we are honouring today. This film features his many hit songs. In 1956, he began his songwriting career after meeting Tony Hiller, who introduced Les to many great songwriters, including Jeff Stevens, Les's first writing partner. This recording with Max Bygraves and the Children of Arnhem celebrated the 50th anniversary of the battle. Les and Jeff's first hit together was by the Apple Jacks. Followed by a Tom Jones smash. Then came... Herman's Hermits. The Carpenters. Barry Manilow. It was also a hit for Perry Como, Matt Monroe and Johnny Mathis. These long, lonely Between them, Les and Jeff wrote five songs for the great Elvis Presley. Wondering when she will call. Where do I go from here? Where Do I Go From Here was written for the film One More Time. To tell you the truth, my friend, I think... I'm Les and Jeff also today. wrote hits for Piggity Witch and Connie Francis. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? In 1965, Les and Barry Mason started a long-standing partnership. This was their first hit. Here it comes again, the feeling, here it comes again. And a number one for Mr. Smoothie himself. So I'll pretend your loving arms are reaching out for me. 24 Sycamore for Gene Pitney and Wayne Fontana. This number two hit for Tom. And this next song shook the world. It was also recorded by the Russian Red Army Choir. And the sensational Alex Harvey band took Delilah back into the charts in the 70s. And Luciano Pavarotti, who absolutely adored the song. And then came these hits. This 
song was a massive hit for Malcolm Roberts and also for Engelbert in the USA. Kiss Me Goodbye charted for Petula Clark here and in America. Should I go or should I stay? The band that only one more song. A number one for Engelbert. The song was totally against everything else in the chart. And featured by Jimi Hendrix. And others. I had the last waltz with you. Too long. Followed by we'll Les and Barry also had a number two hit with the Dave Clark Five called Everybody Knows. And then came this. Written by Les and Gordon Mills with recordings by Roberta Flack, Thelma Houston, Gladys Knight, The Supremes, Stevie Wonder, The Four Seasons, Cher, the Four Tops, Otis Redding, Marvin Gaye, and of course this well-known recording artist. Even Aliens from Mars did it. Jesus Christ! As did... Robbie. It's not unusual to have fun with anyone. Les's next partner was Peter Callender, and their first hit was with Lulu. They also wrote to make a big man cry for Tom Jones, Adam Faith, and PJ Proby, as well as this hit for Paul and Barry Ryan. Together with Johnny Worth, Les wrote this song for Shirley Bassey, a big hit in the USA. And with Roger Greenaway... Hello Happiness for the Drifters. And with Jackie Ray... Is it hard to see that my heart is breaking? It was yours for the taking. What's wrong with my world? Somehow it's not turning. Les and Jackie wrote this song for PJ Proby, as well as I've Got What's My Eyes On You. Donald Pierce had a number two with Please Don't Go and Give Me One More Chance. Bing Crosby. My life is like an open book. This song was Bing Crosby's and last hit, written with Peter Dacre and Bing himself. I thank them all. Les has worked with some of the greatest artists of all time. Not only providing the songs, but also the arrangements, which include Green Green Grass of Home, You've Got Your Troubles, Boys Cry by Eden Kane, and many, many others. Liz's music is truly international, having written for artists like Elvis Presley, Frank Sinatra, and Connie Francis, who devoted a whole album to Liz's songs. Les Reed must surely rank among the cream of British songwriters and we pay tribute to his supreme musical talent today.